Welcome to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Not a very popular European tourist destination yet, but they should be considering its spectacular nature. It's amazing! The Kravice waterfalls. Today, rafting is on the menu for which we rented this lighthouse of sorts. Ready for your big waterfall? Yes, I am. And after that, we're going to check out some weird stuff in Sarajevo. Radical trips make your life great again. <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah. Bosnia and Herzegovina is well known for its white water rafting adventures on one of the four shallow rivers. Professionally guided rafting tours are organized all over during summer. However, we're here at the end of October with the outdoor season almost over, as the rivers tend to get quite wild and cold in winter. We jumped into rubber boots, a wetsuit and a helmet and carried the boat into the Naretva river. Right at the start there was a cool acceleration. Pedal, pedal, no back, no back, forward, forward. Forward, Gens. Our guide was working the hardest of us all, steering us safely through the rocky gorge. Oh, that was cool. Yes. <laughs> The first waterfall! What is waterfall in Bosnian? Um, water pot. Water pot. The... But after a promising start of our rafting trip, the many rapids we expected were practically absent. So instead of adrenaline, we experienced scenic landscapes, silence and fresh air. Not very challenging. Although our legs did get sore after sitting in this one position for an hour. We probably have ourselves to blame for traveling this relatively calm stream. Because for the sake of time, we asked for just a very short stretch so we could get the feel of the river and still reach Sarajevo in the afternoon. Presumably, if you spend the typical full day on the water, there will be more variety along the river's course, with a tasty barbecue to finish off. So don't be like us and take your time. Night, night bully still, night bully delivery. Catch through your glass, catch your chucky hipster. Sweet volley, Kadaka Zabibri, my FM gem, or say a molidri. We switched cars and drove our little red friend to Bosnia's capital, Sarajevo. The city offers a mix of Soviet style architecture, some deteriorated areas, but also green spaces and surprisingly modern blocks. We stopped along the way for a strange monument. The sight of it was definitely underwhelming, but the story makes up for it. A symbol for the shortcomings of humanitarian help, 
It ironically commemorates the foreign food donations during the three-year siege of Sarajevo in the breakup wars of Yugoslavia 25 years ago. A whopping 12,000 flights brought 160,000 tons of food and medicine into the city, which sounds amazing. However, much of that food had either expired for 20 years as they were leftovers from the Vietnam War, or it contained pork meat, overlooking the fact that half of the population would not eat it because they are Muslim. Apparently, not even cats and dogs would eat what came out of the cans. We continued, exploring the capital with its old, weird and contemporary details found throughout the city center. With over half a million people living in the metropolitan area, we were almost surprised to witness its liveliness and modernity, considering Bosnia's dark past and the current day political and ethnic tensions the country is once again facing. We have, therefore, picked an uplifting location, the Museum of Optical Illusions. was extremely helpful, even insisting and convincing us to take extra effort in experiencing all the illusions and to document it as best as we could. Five stars for their dedication. Ending our Bosnia film with the amazing Kravici waterfalls. Often compared to Croatia's Plitvici lakes near Bosnia's northwestern border, but nowhere near as touristic and, most importantly, in this one, swimming is allowed. Please. Can we swim? It's very cold now. Ah, yes, but we're from the Netherlands. We have experience with cold. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir.
Colos spoiled because we again had the entire area to ourselves, just as we like it. For this bit, there were two roles to divide between us. One for drone operations and getting the best shots, and the other for steering our floats stream upward in the icy cold water. Weighing our respective strengths. When you are very cold, you can warm your inner body you are like this. Press in. We settled on a fair distribution of duties. Let's go! <laughs> Pedal! Driver, take us over there! Take us to the magic! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 